guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a Kay's Scented Melts haul. I have not ordered from her in quite a while and I was wanting to make some blends from other vendors that I can't get a hold of. I thought I'd just try and see how it turned out. I figured what's the harm in doing that. Plus it's kind of fun to kind of mess around with the different scents. Now an easier way to do this if you're not sure of like a scent blend that you want to do, you can always buy her I think she's phasing out scent shot cups, but I think she's gonna be doing clamshells. So you can still like mess around with like a cube, a cube, a cube, you know? I didn't do that, I just went for it. <laughs> so it's a little chilly here today. So I have a long sleeve, like light linen shirt on. So I'm trying to stay a little bit warm, but still cool at the same time. Cause it's, it's, um, it's like 60 something outside today, I think. It's weird weather. Anyways, all right, so let's go ahead and she did send me samples. I'll get to those in a minute. Actually, I think this is a sample. This is Baby Soft, and I think this is probably the Johnson & Johnson, the pink bottle lotion, or it could just be baby powder. I'm not sure. It has a very heavy like baby powder scent to me, but it could be the Johnson & Johnson pink bottle as well. Who knows, I didn't look up scent description, so that's my bad. The next one I have is lavender. I have been loving lavender scents, so I decided to try some just straight up lavender. I feel like I've had this before, but maybe it's from another vendor, I can't remember. This is good. This is uh, herbal, but sweet. It's not too heavy on the herbal, and it's not sweet either. Really nice. That, I feel like that would be such a good mixer. The next one I have is white linen. Oh, so the Baby Soft was a sample. The lavender is my order and white linen is Estee Lauder dupe, I believe. I have not smelled Estee Lauder white linen ever before. So to me, like my interpretation of it is that it's kind of a laundry scent. Like, or not, not laundry, sorry. It's like a amplified laundry. Like if you were to go to a really like nice hotel or maybe a really nice um, dry cleaners or something. I don't know. I've never been, you know, let's just be honest. I've never been to a really nice uh, dry cleaners before. So I don't even know what the hell that would look like. But I just feel like if you were like in a bougie town or something, <laughs> that this is what your laundry would smell like. I don't know. It just, it smells, it does smell perfume to me, but what I think I'm trying to say is that in blends, it doesn't come off like that to me. To me, it mixes really well with like laundry, but on its own, and that's why I wanted to get it on its own because I wanted to see what it smelled like just by itself. So I would say it smells kind of perfumey, but in blends to me, it always kind of has like a more soft like laundry note. So there's that. Okay, the next one I grabbed is Lavender Tassie. I was reading on the website when I saw this that Lavender Tassie actually is named after a, a, like an actual lady. Like a lady actually gr uh, grows her own lavender in like Italy, I think, or something. And her name is like, I don't know, something Tassie. And I was like, oh, well that explains why Lavender Tassie is that name. I never understood why it was called Lavender Tassie. This smells so good. I have never never tried this before oh the, oh my goodness okay i like the scent possibilities are going through my head right now like all the different mixes and stuff that can go with this oh my gosh holy hell this smells so clean it's lavender oh man i don't know what's in here it just it smells like a clean clean lavender. Oh my goodness. That is nice. That is real nice. Okay. The next one I grabbed is morning beignet. This is just kind of a random purchase. So I did, I don't know. I was just wanting, I saw somebody I think do like a custom with this or something. And I was like, you know what, let me just grab that real fast. This smells pretty good. It's kind of spicy, which is weird because I don't know, maybe morning beignet, I didn't look up scent description, so maybe there's like coffee or some crap in here. It's not, I mean, it does smell breakfast, 
like. There's just a little bit of spice in here. Maybe I'll like it better on warm. We all know how cold sniff is. Just forget it, okay? <laughs> just effing forget it. White Clouds is the next one. I think this is a sample. I don't think I ordered this one. And I don't think she's making these one ounce. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a sample. I don't think she does these one ounce. Remember back in the day when you could buy one ounce everything if you wanted to? <laughs> it was like... I love White Clouds now. I did not like White Clouds previously, so now I do. That's just a really nice soft laundry. Like if you don't like laundry and you kind of want to jump into laundry, then that would be a good like segue. So she also included a high chew. I've never had a high chew. I have heard somebody talk about it before, but I don't remember who. I just know that I've never had one and I remember when I heard them say hi chew, I was like, oh, I want to try that. So a sample is strawberry pound cake. I'm not going to open this because we all kind of know what strawberry pound cake smells like. And key lime pie, which I did smell earlier. This is not really my scent profile, but the flower is awful darn cute. Uh, something about key lime pie has always had this weird undertone to me. So, all right. So this, this is going to get kind of confusing for just a second, but hear me out. So... This is my first K cut. Now what happened here, I think is that Carla, I think put the wrong label on here because when I initially got this, I was like, what the hell? Like this does not smell like this at all. So what happened is, is I think she accidentally, so these are my two blends. I think she put the wrong label. I think I just have to switch the label. So I probably should have done that before the freaking video, but so this one here, is actually Snape and Lily, which is White Clouds, Pink Chiffon, Orange Chiffon, chiffon Cake. Okay, so um, let's see, Snape and Lily, I did White Clouds 50, Pink Chiffon 30, Orange Chiffon 20. Now I was duping a another vendor's scent. So let me, here, let me put this one up so you know what I'm talking about, but it's the wrong label. So um, what I'm dipping into now is Snape and Lily, but it's, um, yeah, <laughs> I, I hope I'm making sense here. Okay, so I did the white clouds because the scent is soft laundry, pink chiffon, and a hint of uh, sweet orange. Carla doesn't have a, just a plain orange oil, so I took a chance on the orange chiffon cake to make it more soft and uh, creamy, maybe. And I have to say, it's pretty close to what I was trying to do, so... Yeah, this is good. I think I did good doing the 50% uh, white clouds because I I knew I wanted the white clouds to be like kind of the star of the show. The orange chiffon cake does not, like you don't smell cake. It just smells, I think I get more uh, pink chiffon and just a hint of orange, so that's good. It smells very similar. I'd be interested to put the two blends, there are the blend that I was trying to dupe and this one to the test. Okay, now I'm gonna switch because this bag is, Snape's Tears is in here. <laughs> so Snape's Tears is birch and black pepper, raindrops and peppermint stick. I was just, you know what, honestly, <clears throat> I have this blend in my stash, but I just was like, let me see if I can dupe it. Just for, uh, just for funsies, whatever. So Snape's Tears is black pepper and birch. I did 40%, raindrops 35%, and peppermint 25%. Because I knew peppermint stick would probably be pretty strong. So, and this smells almost identical to the scent that I was trying to do. So I would consider this a win. I would say the peppermint is just like the other blend that I was trying to dupe, just very subtle. You get the rain and then just a little bit of the birch and black pepper. I'll have to warm it to see if it matches up with that other scent, but I love both of those. I think those turned out really good. So I wonder sometimes if Carla gets these requests for these uh, K-cuts and is like wanting to message the person and be like, um, hey, uh, your blend sucks. <laughs> Honestly, I could see, like, I seriously could see that happening with some of these. Um, 
I, you know, obviously she's professional, so she wouldn't do that. But, um, you know, honestly, I almost wanted to tell her, hey, if any of these suck, can you just let me know and I'll change them up. So June and Nick is Dove, White Clouds, and Shampoo. And if you recognize those names, you know. Um, so I did June and Nick. I did equal parts of everything. So Dove, White Clouds. And I don't know what the shampoo that she uses is, but I was trying to dupe another vendor's scent. So... And, and that's what it is. That's what the other scent is, is exactly Dove, White Clouds, and um, shampoo. So, and it smells very similar. I'm like so like impressed. I'm like, oh, I'll have to put them head to head to see. Like I won't do a video because I'm not going to say, oh, hey, don't buy this person's blend because, you know, it's their work or whatever. But, um, yeah, I was just trying to see like how close some of these oils could be, you know? So, okay, the next one I did is my own blend. So this is Laundry at Midnight. I mean, it's not very creative if you wanna know the truth. Like I just kind of threw some crap together. But I, someone had asked for uh, restock blend ideas. And this is one that I was like, hey, what about Laundry at Midnight? So um, it didn't get picked. So <laughs> Twilight, I did Twilight 30%, Luna 30, White Clouds 40. I kind of upped the white clouds because I thought I wanted more white clouds, but honestly, I think I should have upped the twilight because if I remember, this one doesn't smell like, oh, wait a second. Okay, hold on. It does have, no, okay, it does. Okay, this one's perfect. This one, the white clouds, I think I did good at 40% and the twilight is strong enough to hold itself at 30. And the Luna comes in just slightly, but you know, this is cold sniff as well. So, you know, you never know. That one's good. I like how that one turned out. Laundry at midnight. And then I did midnight showers. So midnight showers is, oh, why don't I just show you? It's twilight, dove, and ivory. So midnight showers is 40% twilight, 30% dove, 30% ivory. Now, when I look back at this one in retrospect, I probably should have chilled out on the Dove and the Ivory together because those two components are very strong mixed. So the Twilight is totally drowned out in this scent. I mostly get, I don't know if it's Dove or Ivory. I need to get Dove and Ivory again so I can smell them separately because I can't tell which is which. I've had both and honestly, I, I, I don't remember. I like, I forget things like a week later. <laughs> no kidding. Um, this is good though. It's, I mean, you know, maybe I could throw some lavender in there and it'll be fine. Oh, I definitely have to get more lavender tassie though. Holy crap. That's like the star winner of the show. I would say my blends turned out pretty good too. Um, not going to say, you know, I mean, some of these were not my own blend ideas. These were from other vendors, so I can't take credit for those, but um, I think my Laundry at Midnight turned out really nice. I think that one smells real good. So yeah, that is it. That is my fun little K's haul. I think I'm gonna go back in and get some more. I had fun um, mixing some stuff up, so I definitely need to get some more Lavender Tassie. Jeez, <laughs> how did I not know about this? Okay, so anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and if you have a favorite K cuts that you've done yourself, please let me know uh, what it is and how you liked it and whatever. And if you've ever had a fail, I'd love to know that too, because I feel like when you mix up your own stuff, sometimes you might get just like a real crappy blend. <laughs> um, I've blended some stuff up before and it has been a disaster. So, all right, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching as always. I hope you guys have a good weekend and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks everyone, bye.